Hey, hi all, welcome back to the channel again. Today we are going to discuss the conditional rendering of content. That is nothing but you know, conditional content projection. The content which we are getting from the parent to render into the child. In ng content tag, we are going to show conditionally in this video. So in last video, we have learned, you know, single slot and multi slot content projection so in this video we are going to you know show we are going to learn the conditional based you know rendering of content you know uh, the content so let's dive into that but before that um one note actually i wanted to make over here so in this video we are actually getting in we are actually you know learning about ng template and ng container with ng content and some of the directives as well like ng if and ng you know template outlet right so just you know stick to the video and you will understand so many things in today's lecture and at last i'll going to you know tell you whatever the differences it has like ng template ng container and ng content so let's dive into this now uh, you know as you all know we are using ng content in parent html and we are passing content for it from you know the root component itself as you can see over here inside the selector of the parent component now we are doing the same thing uh, we will do it but conditionally let's see how so for that we need to go to the child component because from parent component we are passing some content but it should render it as a conditionally so uh, to render it conditionally it actually responsibility of you know child component so that's the reason we are adding conditional code into the child component html so let's head over to it and uh, let's add you know template to store you know the ng content so i'm giving a template variable to this as you all know we have made a video on ng uh, the template variables as well so if you do not know you can go and watch that video so that you will understand what you know template variables are and how we are uh, using them then so let's see so i'll just give a template variable name as a temp first template and inside here i'll just add ng content and we know we have a select attribute to it so select is nothing but you know it's a unique identification of that particular content so that whatever content we are passing from the parent we should know that this content should go in this uh, in that particular you know content to show on the ui so that's the reason we are giving a select for this and we need to replicate this template for the second template and here we can give value as a second now i need to write down two divs so the first div and the second div now we'll have to write down the ng container over here here we can use ng template outlet this is the structural directive we are using and it actually accepts a parameter of uh, sorry a variable of template reference so we already have a variable of template reference that is nothing but this variable so we can you know give that variable over here so this variable actually contains the reference of this template and it will you know render this particular template with its content dynamically and the same thing we need to do for the else condition as well so for else condition we need to show the second template now it's time to give conditions so star ng e we need to check certain value of a variable based on that only we need to show so let's add a variable in the child component ts file so show template let's say is equal to true now we are comparing its value as true over here and 
the same thing we are doing just a change in condition so here we have used true and here we have used false as a value right so now this is it we need to do in the child components html and now we are able to pass data conditionally but now how to pass right so to pass data as we all know we need to go to parent because here only this uh, you know component has been used by its selector so inside its selector we need to use ng container and inside ng container you need to pass whatever content it is so i am you know adding two containers over here so one for you know true uh, truthiness and one for falseness for both conditions now we need to use a attribute over here that is nothing but ng project as right the value of it is nothing but the value of select of our ng content so this is the first value of first ng content we need to go give it over here then we have this value second for the second ng content again we need to give it over here now the content what could be the content right so let's see what we have over here so this content is given by root let's copy it and let's paste it over here so here what we can say this content is given by parent and projected by child if condition is true the same thing we can do over here as well if the condition is false let's run it and by the way one more thing actually i forgot to tell you guys that you know uh, if you want to use the structural directives you need to import this common module from at the rate angular slash common and you need to give this this module into the import array of that particular component so where very uh, right so where we are actually writing the or we are using or consuming the structural directives right so it is necessary to add this because the um, you know the definition of all those structural directives is available inside this common module itself so that's the reason to uh, to make it work we need to import this module let's run this okay so as you can see this content is given by parent and projected by child if condition is true right so now i uh, will make you know the value as false for this show template variable now let's look at it you can see if the condition is false so we are actually now showing the content whatever it is coming from the parent conditional only right based on some conditions now uh, it's time to understand why we have used ng template and why we have used ng container right to show the content or project the content so we all know about this ng content tag still i'll just explain you in brief the differences between them so let's understand ng template is nothing but it defines a template block for us right and which is actually not rendered at the moment right so when we define it it only stays in definition state it doesn't you know render on the browser unless and until we give a reference of you know uh, uh, unless and unle until we give the template reference okay so once we give a template reference right it doesn't render as a ng template tag in the browser it only you know projects whatever content it is as you all know the ng content also does the same it doesn't you know uh, renders in a browser like ng content as a tag as we you know normally see the div tags which actually gets rendered on the ui right the ng content and ng template does not render on the ui they just you know used to project the content in the ui only okay so whatever content it is whether it is a plain text or whether, whether it is a, you know a html template or html text they used to render it directly now the second thing is the ng container so ng container is nothing but a logical you know grouping element 
so it actually groups the element multiple elements logically and this also does not render in the browser right it just a visual representation of grouping the element only okay and mostly you know this ng container gets used to give certain conditions so why do we need extra div right to render on the ui so as you can see on the ui if i show you we have a div right over here you can see so inside this div we have this uh, paragraph tag so now as you can see this paragraph tag uh, you are not able to see the ng container ng template or ng content over here but you can see the div right so this is the div inside that div we are showing it but now to add these conditions ng if or ng template outlet or ng for we can make use of ng container as well instead of this div right so that browser should not have you know that particular thing to be rendered on the ui we can you know ignore that or we can just you know um, while using ng container we can omit the use of divs for giving conditions right so this is the main purpose or advantage of in using ng container and after that we have ng content so as you all know ng content is actually used to um, project cer certain data whatever is coming in uh, whatever is coming to it right and it is mostly helpful while we create you know a uh, common components for example if you take an example of card component for example let's say right so card component can have uh, an image and it can have you know the name of it, of a person then it has address and you know cell number of it then designations right then it has you know uh, let's say some other information of part of that particular employee or person so what we can do we can just create a common component using ng content right and we can pass data whatever is needed dynamically so that we can project something into that component and it should be rendered based on that data dynamically right so we will take an example of it very soon so that you all guys can understand it perfectly so this is all about you know the differences key differences between ng template ng content and ng container so i hope you have liked this video if you like it so you can hit like on you know the video you can share the video with your friends and do not forget to subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any upcoming videos thanks all guys let's meet in next video